I think most people would say that the Spain will enjoy a really strong economic recovery over a five to seven year period. That's more likely than over a two to four year period. So if you accept that it's a more medium long term recovery and you're using money that you intend to double in three or four years because you're an opportunistic investor and you're trying to deliver a 20% IRR, then you're, you can't just rely on that macro recovery. You have to actually be doing something really significant to the asset. And that, I think, is where we all, everybody in this industry, we all underestimate how long it takes to fix a broken asset. And unfortunately, Spain, I, mean, I'm, I'm probably shouldn't really be saying anything negative about Spain in this, in this very upbeat panel, but the reality is we have a pretty dysfunctional legal system. And despite the, um, the reform that Alfonso just referred to, to make insolvencies a little bit, you know, to more dynamic and speed them up, you know, if, you, if you're trying to fix a, uh, an asset where you've got a number of tenants that are in insolvency and you're trying to evict people and you're trying to get permits in place to make improvements, you know, you're not going to do all that in two or three years. The reality is that opportunistic strategy that should be a three-year strategy is going to take five years. And uh, that's just the unfortunate... Um, now, you're going to be doing it in a market where you've got the wind in your back because the market's improving, so you may actually be okay. But I think it's we're kidding ourselves if we think we can fix broken assets and turn around broken assets in Spain in, in a short period of time because of the just the, the way the market is structured legally uh, it doesn't it just doesn't allow us to do it. No, and I think a lot of uh, new investors uh, under underestimate that. And I think, well, it, uh, in new and existing, I mean, we all underestimate that. We, we it's it's only. Uh, one thing we can be sure about about when we go into it is that we're going to be wrong. Makes sense. It might make sense to open up a, a web page about dead malls, as you've got one in the in the US, also for Spain, because there are already a couple of them. So you know, as an alternative, each and every investor that really tries to uh, tries to deal with a with this sort of broken asset, as you said, really has to um, to to consider one possible scenario that you will not be in a position to fix it and you just have to close the shop sooner or later because there's already a reference in the country.